So after you've successfully installed the text over image editor, you're going to want to add it as a new data type. Now screen castify doesn't handle uh, drop downs very well. So I'm selecting the text over image editor from here. You can set a max width on this. This isn't for the front. This is for displaying it in the back office, the max width that you want the banner to show in the admin. Um, and for the purposes of this demo, we're going to select to show both this hub headline and link, but you have the flexibility to display those or not as you'd like. Once we've added our new property editor, we'll want to, of course, go and add it to the doc type. So I will replace my label here with the text over image editor that we've made. Save it and go to the home page. So now you'll see on the home page we have the ability to select an image or to add text. We'll start by adding some text. Is super awesome. We're the best that ever was. This is an incredibly modest banner. And we'll direct off to Off Road Code's website and say, hang out with us. Because we like to hang out with people, we'd like to hang out with you. And now we will save and publish. If we go to our home page, which is all in the same tab, so I'm navigating from my address bar, you will see that we now have a new banner. Our team is super awesome, but it's not a very catchy banner, so I think it would look better if we added an image to it. So the next step will be to add an image of our team. This is a good one. We'll select that, save and publish. Now go back to see that we have a picture of our team. The text isn't in a very nice spot. It's kind of over my eye and Kyle's face. So we will now go back and maybe adjust the location of the text. We can do that by clicking this and you will see that it pops up a grid of locations that we can drop our text in. I personally like it in the middle, so I think maybe if we just move it down, then it won't be on our faces. And that's pretty much better. We could do a little bit more fiddling to put it in the right location, but that seems okay where it is. So then we have one more option that we could do depending on what we want this banner for, and that is to adjust the size. You have the ability to do tall, medium, or short. It defaults to medium to begin with. So maybe if we want this super tall, I might also remove the text from being on top of my face. There we go. It didn't. The image, of course, sized with it. And that gives us our tall version. Or if you're doing a small in-page um, banner, you might want to use the short version. You can do that too. That is, of course, going to put it right over my eyes. We will adjust it over into this corner. And there we go. We've moved the text over to the right side of the screen so it's not in the middle and it's no longer my face and it's a shorter banner. So that's a basic demo of the entirety of the text over image editor, just to show that our link there works. And I do have all of the code and CSS for this in a gist that I will link to in the video description. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel and do all of this over again when you want to build your own version of it. Thanks, and let me know if you have any questions.